everybody it's Amber again and I'm back with another video so in today's video I am so excited to share some really really incredible art products that I was actually given by this company Arteza so I know a lot of you have already heard of Arteza they have really nice quality art supplies and craft supplies and I was so lucky that they reached out to me and asked if I would um, do a project with some of their products and I am so excited because I love watercoloring I'm not I'm not like very good at it I've only done it a couple times and to be completely honest I've never done watercoloring with watercolor pencils and I am so excited to try that here on video with you guys but let me go ahead and show you what they sent me they sent me two pads of their beautiful watercolor paper and this stuff is like awesome you know my obsession with paper and then check these out these are 24 of their woodless watercolor pencils and they have the most beautiful colors the names of the colors are on the pencils themselves and I just love those I was so excited that they sent me two of these pads because I'm really excited I can make so many things um, for one you can paint on them obviously but you can also make like little art journals with like the smaller scraps of paper and so I'm really excited to share these products with you guys let me go ahead and open the pencils so we can get a closer look at them okay so here are the gorgeous pencils now just keep in mind I'm not a professional artist I really don't have a lot of experience with these but I absolutely love these colors they're so so pretty and the way the pencil feels in your hand I just I can't even explain it it's like a different feeling than a regular pencil and like I was saying I'm not a professional you know artist or watercolor or anything but when I used these and you're gonna see here in the video they kind of were like creamy when you added the water to them I don't know how to explain it but they were like buttery and creamy and just they just were so so fun to work with so I'm gonna go ahead and take some paper off of here and we're gonna go ahead and create a little scene for the front of a card I've always wanted to do that and we're just gonna go ahead and do it I'm not experienced in this I've never done this before but you know what let's go ahead and just experiment together so I'm gonna be using the art supplies of course and these pencils need to be sharpened so I have a little sharpener that I'm gonna grab here in a second but I'm gonna go ahead and let you relax and watch me create this um, I will pop on every now and then to tell you a few things especially to tell you about Arteza and their amazing website and all their wonderful supplies
So as I'm painting away here, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Arteza. They have everything on their website from pens, paper pads, canvases, um, paint of course, brushes, the colored pencils, um, quilting supplies, crafting supplies, office supplies. They have so many things on their website for crafters and artists and it's just an incredible web website. Um, I don't know if I already mentioned this but when you go to their website it's just so user friendly and colorful and inviting and the prices are really good. They also have the brushes like that have the that you can put the water in and um, I really kind of want to order some of those from them because I think that they'll be really really handy for this these watercolor pencils and to do some watercoloring. The um, brushes you see me using here I just picked up I think at Hobby Lobby and they're just you know your basic watercolor brushes. I didn't want to go too expensive until I knew kind of more what I was doing. So as you can see I'm just creating a little scene here and I'm calling it Mystic Desert and I'm just creating some little sparkly stars now and I, I really like I said I'm not a true true watercolor artist and this is just me kind of being a beginner and showing you how fun and relaxing painting can be and I actually like that I mixed a little bit of white acrylic paint into the sky it makes it look more like mysterious and mystic and so I really really love how I incorporated that Okay, so I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and make this into a card and there's not like any certain measurement here I did um, cut the watercolor paper to five by seven but I do end up trimming it and I don't remember if I trimmed it before or after this clip but um, if you're gonna do one of these just know that you can do your card base like a quarter inch all the way around bigger or an eighth of an inch it's just up to you you don't even have to make a border um, but I'm just using some Recollections cardstock in a gray color and then I got some cream cardstock to put on the inside for my sentiment. So there's my finished card. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun creating and watercoloring is definitely something that I love to do now. Um, like I said, I was a little bit obsessed with purchasing watercolor pads. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I hadn't really done a lot of watercoloring and for sure no colored pencil watercoloring with the, with the watercolor pencils. So this was so fun and as I mentioned in the video, the watercolor just seemed with the pencils it was so creamy and buttery 
and it just was so nice to work with. So, and I also love that watercoloring is very forgiving as well. I absolutely loved this project. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go ahead and check out Arteza. I'm going to post a link below and I'm going to post a coupon code below so you guys can go make some purchases and get a discount. So everything, all that information is going to be in the description box below. I know I'm super excited to head over and make a purchase because I've already got my eye on a few things. And I think that I really want to make like an art journal next with a cute cover. So that's going to be super fun and I'll be sure to share it. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of my videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And to everybody who's already subscribed, thank you so much. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. And I will definitely be back with another one very soon. I've got some fun ones that I've already filmed. And I cannot wait to share them with you. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.